A Salish Kootenai student is challenging the prevailing narrative of women's role in tech and inspiring others to make a difference in their communities. But Robin Mackey's road to get there was not without its struggles. MTN's Ariana Lake brings us her story tonight on Special Assignment. She Googled how to go to college. Today, Robin Max uses a computer signed for her by the CEO of Microsoft. Protector on it because I was so excited to get him to sign it. I think I was eight or so when I did my first hack. We didn't have a computer at home, and the public library had these computers with time limits on them. So you could only use it for like 30 to 15 minutes at a time. And then like you used up your time limit for the day. And I remember thinking, well, I want more time on this computer. For me, that's when it dawned that, wait, I can tell this computer what to do. Growing up on Wisconsin's Stockbridge Muncie Reservation and then living in Texas equipped her with a complex outlook on life. It's like I'm either too native or I'm not native enough. And so I kind of, I think it, it's a sort of self-defeating attitude that I fell in. The best I can do is maybe a secretary job. Basically, I put off college because I didn't really know how to go to college. I remember Googling like how to go to college. She applied and was accepted to Diné College in Arizona, which prides itself as the first tribally controlled college in the United States. I just sold my car and I used my savings for my jobs and I, you know, my first semester I'm at Diné College and I remember thinking, okay, like I probably should have had a better backup plan because I don't have like a fleet of cars to sell every semester. Robin had something more valuable than a fleet of cars to sell, though. She had determination and a dream. She received dual associates from Danae, but it wasn't until a post-grad internship that she figured out tech was in her future. It didn't take long for Robin to choose the Salish Kootenai College in Pablo, but that choice also came with its own challenges. When she got to the school nestled below the Mission Mountain, student housing was full, and so was the computer engineering program she wanted to enroll in. Robin got a place to live about seven miles away and biked to class every day. She also enrolled as a dual major in psychology and information tech. Now she's just months away from graduating with both those degrees. It's that hacking mentality. It's that sensibility of you take an opportunity and you use it to its fullest extent. But Robin's story doesn't end there. The woman who sold her car, moved across the country, and used to bike miles to class was chosen to be on the PBS reality show Road Trip Nation. What sort of advice would you have for people in computer science interested in pursuing careers but may not be represented by a lot of people in the industries? That trip did more than empower her to drive an RV across the U.S. It inspired her to take chances and pursue her dreams no matter how big. I'm directing the first American Indian uh, National College Hackathon. On top of her dual degrees and multiple student boards, Robin is providing a venue for creativity through technology. Her friend Amanda Means, who met Robin at Diné College, calls her an inspiration. It is kind of rare to have somebody go through and finish school with all kinds of obstacles that come up but it was just that motivation and then you know thinking well you're going to be an example some people are going to see this and then see you and hopefully it'll pass down to other generations now the woman who hacked into the community library computer is hacking into what it takes to make a difference that sense of just not looking right or feeling right or talking right that's that's false. Like, how you are is, is perfect. Like, how you are is exactly how you should be. In Pablo, Ariana Lake, MTN News. And you can check out Ariana's extended interview with Robin and people she's inspired on our website. And that Hack Aces event she's directing is next Wednesday in Minneapolis, and registration is still open. What a great story. One of the most remarkable things, her laptop signed by the chairman of Microsoft. Okay. That's how far she's gone. She's on the right track. You bet. Well,